We end tonight with the clearest pictures yet of Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. In the last two decades, scientists have seen significant shifts in Neptune's atmosphere, and these most recent changes have left them shocked. What is suddenly happening on Neptune, and how can this impact our daily lives? Astronomers have uncovered an enigma in the atmosphere of Neptune. Atmospheric temperatures in this area have dropped precipitously since the start of the Southern Hemisphere summer about two decades ago, and the reason for this is a mystery to experts. Neptune is the most distant planet in the solar system, approximately 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth. Neptune, like every other planet in the solar system, experiences all four seasons. Due to Neptune's long orbital period of 165 Earth years, each of these epochs lasts about 40 Earth years. Since 2005, the southern hemisphere of Neptune has been experiencing summer due to its axial tilt toward the Sun. However, recent observations of Neptune's atmosphere have shown some peculiar patterns. Actually, it's cooling down rather than warming up, and this can result in severe consequences for the entire ecosystem. Let's talk more about it in today's video. In 1846, European astronomers argued over what to call the newly discovered eighth planet. They finally decided to call it Neptune after the Roman god of the sea. As it turns out, Neptune's eponymous moniker was aptly chosen as the planet seems to be a deep ocean blue in color with white specks and deeper blues playing over its clouds. Neptune is one of two planets, the other being Uranus, that scientists refer to as ice giants. Like Uranus, Neptune is four times the diameter of Earth and it has a thick atmosphere composed primarily of hydrogen and helium with some water and ammonia. Neptune is as far from the Sun as the Earth is. If the 1.76 billion miles between Uranus and the Sun seems far, the distance between Neptune and the Sun is another billion miles. The study of Neptune is, as could be expected, a formidable challenge. In addition, Neptune's orbit around the Sun takes 165 Earth years, making it the most distant planet in our solar system. Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet in 2006. NASA reports that a day on Neptune lasts just 16 hours. NASA researchers found that the planet's temperature has been changing rapidly and unexpectedly. The newest findings were discovered by scientists at the University of Leicester and published in the journal Planetary Science. The study followed Neptune's temperature for 17 years and discovered that despite the frigid South Pole, where temperatures reach minus 220 degrees Celsius, the planet as a whole has a mean temperature of just negative 180 degrees Celsius. The study's lead scientist, Michael Roman, described the shift as unexpected in a statement. The study is titled, Subseasonal Variation in Neptune's Mid-Infrared Emission, Roman remarked. Since we have been studying Neptune throughout its early southern summer, we anticipated temperatures would gradually grow warmer, not colder. Neptune, like Earth, has distinct seasons. A season on Neptune, on the other hand, lasts much longer. The extended seasonal changes, particularly after the solstice to Neptune's south, have piqued the interest of experts who want to know how they may occur. The drastic shift in Neptune's atmosphere may be due to the planet's chemistry or weather patterns, according to experts. Researchers examined nearly 100 thermal infrared photos of Earth and discovered that, despite the arrival of summer, much of the planet had cooled. However, Scientists found that the planet's south pole had warmed up again. The study found that global temperatures declined by 8 degrees Celsius between 2003 and 2018. A warming trend was also observed in the south pole, with temperatures increasing by 11 degrees Celsius between 2018 and 2020. These two sudden shifts were not predicted by astronomers. The researchers claimed that because the time frame is shorter than a single season, far subtler shifts were anticipated. The new report also showed that the differences were so surprising that scientists still haven't figured out how to account for them. But this is not the only concern scientists share about Neptune. Let's take a look at some of the other major mysteries surrounding the Blue Planet. Why are the winds so fast? Strong winds are common on Neptune, according to Simon. Their top speed has been clocked at 500 meters per second, or 1,640 feet per second about four times as fast as the fastest winds ever recorded on Jupiter. According to NASA, at high altitudes, Neptune's winds can reach speeds of over 1,100 miles per hour, or more than one and a half times the speed of sound. 
Additionally, Neptune's winds are currently flowing westward, anti-clockwise with respect to the planet's spin. According to studies published in Nature in 2013, the winds on Neptune and Uranus would likely blow in strata little more than 600 miles, or 1,000 kilometers thick. This very shallow depth shows that winds could be generated by condensation and evaporation of moisture. Why is Neptune's magnetic field offset? Researchers think that Uranus and Neptune may have formed in a similar way because they're about the same size, made of similar materials, and are in similar places. Uranus and Neptune are also different from Saturn and Jupiter because their magnetic fields aren't in the right place. If you put a magnet on top of one of these planets, it would not line up with the center. Since moving currents make magnetic fields, it is thought that all planets with magnetic fields like Earth have conductive material moving in their centers. But because Neptune's magnetic field is tilted 47 degrees from the planet's rotation, it's clear that rotation and magnetism are not always in sync. NASA wrote on a page about Neptune that because of this misalignment, Neptune's magnetosphere goes through wild changes each time it rotates. Why does it shed more heat than it gets? Like all other planets, Neptune gets heat from the Sun, but there seems to be something fierce inside it that makes it give off more heat than it gets. Simon said that scientists want to know why Neptune makes so much heat, since this affects how the weather works on Earth. NASA officials said in a 2011 statement, that the difference in temperature between Neptune's strong internal heat source and its cold cloud tops, which is about minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 162 degrees Celsius, could cause instability in the atmosphere that leads to large-scale weather changes. In the 1990s, measurements from the European Space Agency's Infrared Space Observatory showed that the planet gives off heat at a temperature of minus 351 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 213 Celsius, which is about 25 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 Celsius warmer than it should be if it didn't have a heat source inside. What happened to the Great Dark Spot? The Great Red Spot is the most well-known thing about Jupiter. It's also the biggest storm in the solar system, and for reasons that are still not well understood, it has been getting smaller for decades. So, when Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989, scientists were surprised to see that it also had a great dark spot. In 1995, when the new Hubble Space Telescope was put to use, it was turned toward Neptune and looked at in more detail. But by then, the place had mysteriously gone away. Scientists don't know for sure how it went away, but Simon said it could have gone away at the equator. Later that year, Hubble found what might be another dark spot, but it's hard to tell because Neptune is so far from Earth that photos of it aren't very clear. What is Neptune's interior made of? Astronomers can't see inside Neptune, so it's hard to know what it's made of on the inside. The Lunar and Planetary Institute made a model in 2003 that says the atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, methane, and helium. Below that atmosphere, there are liquid hydrogen, methane, and helium, as well as even smaller amounts of nitrogen and oxygen, which are also liquid hydrogen compounds. If there is a core, it would be rocky and cold. Simon also said that current NASA spacecraft will have to take measurements of other planets to get a better idea of what Neptune's interior is made of. That's one of the main jobs of Juno, which got to Jupiter in July of this year. Also. The Cassini spacecraft will crash into Saturn in 2017. It will try to learn as much as it can about Saturn's atmosphere and interior before it breaks up. Bonus Bogler, a captured feisty moon? Triton is by far the largest of Neptune's 13 moons, and it is the only one that is big enough to be round. Triton's orbit is strange because it goes around the planet and other moons in the opposite direction. Also, the orbit is not in a plane around the equator like most satellites, Instead, it is at an angle. These characteristics show that Triton did not come from Neptune. Instead, the planet's gravity probably caught Triton, a passing icy and rocky body from the Kuiper Belt, a group of bodies that includes Pluto and is beyond Neptune's realm. Candace Hansen, a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona, said, This capture hypothesis is the most popular idea. Hansen was there when Voyager 2 flew by Neptune and took the first pictures, including those of Triton, which showed geysers on its surface. Hansen said on the show Life's Little Mysteries, we were shocked to see those active plumes. 
Triton has more mysteries than just how those plumes work. Its young surface doesn't have as many craters as you might think, which shows that geological activity erased early craters. The land on Triton is also interesting and different because it looks like a cantaloupe. Last but not least, astronomers have just discovered something new about Neptune. New web image captures clearest view of Neptune's rings in decades. With its breathtaking photographs of faraway galaxies and Earth's neighbors, the James Webb Space Telescope has wowed both astronomers and the general public. Now, Neptune's rings have been seen in their clearest form in more than 30 years, thanks to the $10 billion Deep Space Telescope. NASA said that the telescope took a picture of the ice giant Neptune, as well as seven of the planet's 14 known moons. In the picture, you can also see the thin band of dust around the planet. We haven't seen these faint dusty rings in 30 years, and this is the first time we've seen them in infrared," said Heidi Hamill, an expert on Neptune's system and an interdisciplinary scientist working on the Webb project. Methane in the atmosphere makes Neptune look blue most of the time, but pictures from Webb's infrared camera show that the planet is whiter. NASA says the thin lines of beautiful light around Neptune are high-altitude methane ice clouds reflecting sunlight. They can be seen in the new picture. Triton, which is one of Neptune's moons, can also be seen in the picture, but diffraction spikes in the image make it easy to think it is a faraway star. NASA says that the surface of Triton is covered with frozen condensed nitrogen, which reflects about 70% of the sun's rays. The image of the rings is the clearest since NASA's Voyager 2 flew by Neptune in 1989. Neptune is about 2.8 billion miles from Earth, which is more than 30 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the dramatic changes in the atmosphere of Neptune? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.